I heard the most amazing quote from Naval Ravikant the other day, even though I'm pretty sure he was quoting somebody else, but he said that everybody should have three hobbies. One, that's creative, one that makes you money, and then one that's good exercise. I now think about this quote every single day because one problem that a lot of creators have is that our brains run amok. When we have so many projects that we could potentially work on, avenues that we wanna go down, our brain goes all over the place and we don't really know which one to focus on. And I've realized that thinking about these three hobbies have really simplified everything. Another thing that adds a lot of clarity is to try to find a North Star, a goal to work towards. And some people recommend finding one big goal and then moving backwards from there to much smaller goals that you can achieve. Now these moments are fun. It's like productivity meets dreaming. So once you make these lists, put them away so you can come back to them easily anytime. <laughs> So on top of doodling, I've been doing these ridiculous animations and I just made this whole entire tournament just to have people involved in deciding which character I drew was the best. It's a really cool spot, but there's so much debris on the ground. I just don't want to die right now. I'm going to skate this local park because it is a consistent and right now that feels good and I need to learn some more tricks and it's the easiest place to do it. The thing is, with any new creative pursuit, you have to focus on building the fundamentals before you can actually even think about your style in the sport or art or whatever. But I feel like with illustration, I haven't quite gotten to the point where I can even have a style yet. Like at first, it was very important for me just to be able to draw something and anything. And I think anybody should do that when starting any new creative field. But then you start thinking of ideas that you can actually draw. And once you have the bare fundamentals or the style that you want to implement in whatever you're doing, the skating, whatever creative activity, and then the moment you get to start combining them where I got to work on this design, this graphic right here, which is an idea that I had in mind, and then I, I, I did it. And basically the excitement that you had for the art initially is going to multiply as you realize what you can do or what you're capable of. So keep growing. <laughs> repeat that day over and over again, it would be the perfect life. It was amazing and I'm glad that you tuned in today and watched and enjoyed and basically last night I just ended up coming home and doodling and just practicing sort of the, the 
ones that I've already done so that I can just sort of like hone my skill and you know pull things out of memory. But I also wanted to end this video on a quote that I heard from Theodore Roosevelt through the Andy J Pizza podcast. He repeated it and at the perfect time to where right now there's sort of this conversation, this debate, whether or not we should listen to the opinion of critics. If critics have the opinion, like people who aren't in the field, who don't actually do the activity, should we trust their opinion? And Theodore Roosevelt said it best. And, it, and he said that it's not the critic who counts. It's not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows that in the end, the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Thank you.